I am Maria Loy, executive chef of Loy's Theatorio in Manhattan. When I was growing up in Fermo, a small village in Greece, food was a way of life. Good for your body, good for your soul. The Mediterranean diet is considered one of the healthiest in the world. And I have seen how it can truly change people's lives, like it changed mine. And since then, my life has been all about the Mediterranean diet. Today, we are going to share some of the delicious secrets that you can make part of your own lives at home. I will be joined in the live chat with my friends, Dr. Catherine Fleming, expert on Greek culture and history. Ancient civilizations had something that we moderns don't have. They had a tremendous amount of time. And Dr. Stefanos Kalles, expert on the health benefits of the Mediterranean diet. We know the Mediterranean diet protects you from cancer. This has a 5,000 year safety record. We are here to answer all of your questions. So come with me right now on The Life of Loy. I am Maria Loy. So glad you are joining me today. I will take you on a trip to Greece and then come back to my favorite kitchen in New York to show you two of my favorite recipes, mini omelet muffins and Greek tuna salad. Today, I am going to take you to two places in Greece. They are very, very, very close to my heart. First, we are going to Evia. Evia is the second largest Greek island after Crete. You can drive there from the mainland. When I was a kid, I used to go to Evia with my father. I didn't understand how you could drive to an island <laughs> and you didn't need to take a boat. Even today, whenever I pass that bridge, I always think of those trips with my father. Recently, I went to a farm in Evia that is growing the best mushrooms. Mushrooms give many dishes a savory, rich flavor known as umami, which makes them great to use in vegetarian dishes. Pame! I have here my new friend, Lefteris Lahuvaris. I love it here. We are in Evia and they have mushrooms and they know how to cook the mushrooms. Before we speak about the mushrooms that you're doing here, let's start. I like this vessel. You can move it here or you can do like that. You see? If you want to mix I it. never cooked <laughs> like this. Lefteri, we're going to use the mushrooms first, right? Yes. Or not? Ledinula is the Latin name of uh, the very well-known sitake. The whole name is Lendinula edodes. The That's edible something. ledinula. And I'm going to cut the ledinules. Okay. Because I want them to be dry. And then I'm adding the oh, olive oil. Nice. Okay? Very nice information. <laughs> because mushroom, it's full of water, actually. Full of water. Okay. Ledinula has around 80% and uh, oyster mm -hmm. mushrooms around uh, 90. 90. We don't have oyster mushrooms here. We have oyster mushrooms. Oh, we do? Pleurotus. Pleurotus mm -hmm. is an ancient Greek word that means the ear that grows on the side. Pleurotus. I love this to cut like that, okay? See how it is? Mm. They don't burn because they have the water. So now I will start adding olive oil, okay? I'll take that. Okay. Here I'm ready. Do you want to add? Everything, everything. Very nice. I want a ton of mushrooms. Okay. Okay? It will be very delicious. Oh, yes. Can you imagine when we'll put also the vasilomanitara? They are the best mushrooms of the forest. Why do you have to call them porcini? The biggest, yes. <laughs> okay. Come on. So we have anything else of this kind of mushrooms? We are done course, with that? Of course, of course, of course. We have... Arnakia. Arnakia? Do you know why? Because it looks like Arnakia. Yeah. It grows on the tree. 
Mm -hmm. And becomes so big, like uh, make yeah. sometimes one meter big. Like a big. ship, yeah, yeah. Yes. And it's like a ship that holds a big hug on the tree. In That's US so they call it lion's mane because of this. Oh the yeah, it is. It's lion's mane. So how do you inside, cut that? Look inside. It's a fleshy mushroom. You see? Oh. It's very fleshy. I never had this. Big one. Kutala. This is Kutala. <laughs> Maybe I will add a bit of olive oil. Nice. This is what we have to take, the vitamins. Mm. I know you made something with the vitamin D. We try to enrich, naturally enrich, the mushrooms with vitamin D. When the UV light mm -hmm. comes to your organism, to your uh, skin, you start to produce vitamin D. Yeah. Okay. Why we produce vitamin D? Because we have ergosterol. The same substance contains the mushrooms. Uh, we so have beautiful. to tell that it's the only source of vitamin D for vegans. Can you hear that, vegans? <laughs> Do you hear that out there? Let's put the Vasilomani Tara. Here inside. Yeah. They are dried and we have put it to... Yeah, to soak. Water, eh? how, how long did you soak them in there? Uh, we soaked for uh, 20 minutes. They're ready. And uh, you know, this beautiful water, we can add as a broth. Eh? In, uh, of course. Vegans. So, OK. Perfect. That's it. I can add, if you want some onion, just a bit of onion, that's all. Okay. You want to put wine? Yes. Let me see, that's a the glass. You know why I don't add the water immediately? Because, you see, it will be crispy after ah, that. Yes, and yes, not yes. mushy. OK. Yes. OK? Mm. Now we can add the broth. Okay. It also has to absorb all the liquid. OK? And then we'll add, if it's needed, because I like it al dente. And something else you had over there. You just put the dry porcini yeah. in your multi. And you have a nice powder. Or in a blender. Okay. Check now the what? porcini powder okay. and here, here. Add, uh, Take ah, it. Thank you. Take it. That's it. We spread Maybe. it everywhere. Yeah. Do yeah. you want uh, the salt yes, and the pepper? Yes, yes, yes. Well, that's only for me. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good? Super delicious. Thank you very much. <laughs> I thank you. So, from the Garden of Eden, here we cooked mushrooms with orzo, Greek orzo, and uh, I don't know how many different kind of mushrooms. Those mushrooms were amazing and so tasty. But don't worry if you don't find the same mushrooms here. You can go to your grocery store. You can buy whatever mushrooms you find and you like, of course. And we can make a different recipe with orzo mushrooms, but this time with eggs. I have cooked pasta here just with olive oil. Here, I have cremini mushroom. I dice them and I saute with just a bit of onion and olive oil. Put it in the same bowl. You can eat them actually like this. You just add some feta and you have an excellent dish. Feta cheese. You know, my friends, they say that I cannot live without feta, yogurt, and olive oil. And it's the truth. It's my trifecta. 
I like to add a lot of yogurt here. And this yogurt, I make here, personally. Make sure that you mix it very well. And the orzo will be covered by the yogurt. And you know, the yogurt also makes it fluffy a bit. You can add some salt. Then one of the binders will be the bread cup. We'll add some fresh ground pepper. But I love dill more than pepper. That's how my grandmother used to cut the dill. And I continue to do the same thing. Look, with a scissor. Wow, <laughs> I couldn't help it. I had to smell it. You saw that I added the stems, huh? Because as Dr. Kalle says, they're packed with vitamins. And now I will add some olive oil. One, two, three. That's tablespoons. That's how we count tablespoons in the village. <laughs> this is actually an old recipe of mine. When I was a kid, I was seven years old when I first made this recipe. And um, I had to give something. I always wanted to give to people, and especially to my family. So I was cooking the orzo and the mushrooms and whatever we had, other ingredients as well, in uh, small vessels, very small vessels. Always they loved my daughter. It's like I was baking some things individual for each one, just to give them, like the present. That's what means doro in Greek. Do you love eggs? I love eggs. So let me... I used to eat eggs every day. And uh, either breakfast, dinner, lunch. It's like I do with yogurt. It's not only for breakfast. And they have a lot of vitamins and especially protein. I always like to add fresh ground pepper in my eggs and just a pinch of salt because we have the fat and it's very salty in there. The eggs will bind the mixture. See? The fluffier your eggs, the fluffier your muffins. Make sure that you mix the eggs very well with the mushrooms, the orzo, the feta, the yogurt, the olive oil, and the dill. You know, it doesn't smell the egg because of the dill. And now it's ready to make our dora, the little presents, and to take it into the oven. So, my grandma, she, she never uses a brush. So, she was always taking a small piece of paper napkin. She was going like this. And here. That's it. See? That's enough. This way, your muffins will never stick. Also, you can add just a bit of breadcrumbs. Not too much of breadcrumbs because they will create a very uh, hard crust. 
and we will make our life easier. When I was making the Doro as a kid, I didn't have ice cream scoops to make my life easier. But we had a very happy family. Okay. You're going like this. And then into the oven. Preheated oven. 350 Fahrenheit for maximum 15, 20 minutes. Depends on your oven, of course. See? I have them ready for you. You see, when, when they get like a bit crusty and a bit brownish, then you know that they're ready to come out from the oven. I left them outside the oven almost an hour because I like to eat this Doro cold. I don't know why. You can eat it any way you like it, hot, cold, but I prefer cold. Maybe because I used to eat them like this when I was a child. So let me add some dill. because I want to make them beautiful. They are super tasty. I have to try it. <gasps> Cheers, Yasu. Mm. I don't like meat, but the mushrooms, they give this umami taste and um, earthy. Also, they, they are like meat in there. It's like that you eat meat. Are you jealous? You can make this at home too. It's so easy. And now I am going to take you in the heart of the Aegean, next to Mykonos, next to Santorini, in one of the most beautiful islands in the world, Naxos. And they have the freshest seafood. Pame! Yasas, I am here in Naxos Island, in the middle of the Aegean, in the Cyclades. Today, I am going to cook with Yanis Margaritis, the governor of the island. When you are in Naxos Island, you can go to the best restaurant, you can go to the smallest taverna to eat, but when you have friends like Dimitri, you can go to his boat. Yanni? <laughs> Look at this boat. It's Maria, cute. more visitor friends. To create a salad with the fish that they had today, Stingray, big one. And uh, I can make a salad out of nothing. Take a look. So we had the fish. You see how it is with the skin? So first of all, we have to clean this. We have enough. Yeah, then it will be like that. Mm -hmm. But before that, we just boil it. I made here ladi and lemoni. Lado lemono. Olive oil and lemon. We have onions, scallions, and we'll mix it again. Usually, when I mix lado lemono with onions, scallions, oregano, I leave it for two, three hours. But it's okay. We have to eat. We're hungry. <laughs> That's the secret. That's the secret. You put all together. Yeah. And then up from the fish. No. Wait. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I take my big hands. Okay. And I here. Wow. For this, you don't need the professionals. <laughs> And if you see now, you have the sauce here, you add more fish. See? The secret is not to be dry, 
but not to be very mushy. Fresh pepper. Always. See, the fresh pepper. Mmm. That's a real salad. That's a fish salad. The best fish salad. Naxian salaturi. That's how you call it? But I make this salad, so that means that... Uh, so it's Maria have... Salaturi. <laughs> and what else? Extra virgin olive oil. Always finish, even with a drop of olive oil. It will make your life tasty and healthy. OK, Yanni. Let's start. It smells nice, it looks nice. It tastes better. You know, this salad, I like to eat it slowly because I love it so much. And if I eat it all at once, I can eat even three pounds of it. <laughs> yes, sir. Fish is a fruit, so don't worry. It's as much as you can. So it's like a fruit salad. So we didn't make a fish salad, we made a fruit salad. And you can eat it anytime you want because it's tasty, healthy, and easy to make. Don't forget, right, right, we are here for you to answer to anything you want to ask about food, history, health. We are the experts. <laughs> I have to answer to a friend of mine now that he says, if you don't have this fresh fish that you had in Naxos, what are you going to do? I said, easy, I'll make you a tuna salad. With the same ingredients? I said, yes. Olive oil. If you cut my veins, we'll bleed olive oil. <laughs> so lemon juice. I will put two tablespoons of lemon juice. Mustard. I like mustard. And sometimes I mix it with yogurt and it's a perfect cream for you to use it in several dressings, sauces. I use the Dijon mustard, but whatever you like according to your taste. Salt. I like salt in this recipe. It needs it. If you have the fresh fish, you don't need so much because it comes directly from the sea. But here, you need it. Scallions. And then I will mix it. And this could be a dressing for any salad, okay? And now we are going to add our tuna fish. Uh, you see, it's chunky. It's not like those tiny pieces. Please buy a good tuna fish. And always buy the tuna fish in water, not in olive oil. And then strain it, and it's ready to go into your salad. We'll mix it. Tuna fish has a lot of omega-3 fatty acid. Very good for your health. It's an easy recipe, isn't it? Let's serve it. Two ways. One, it's one of my favorite breads. I love black bread, but you can use any kind of bread you like. Mmm. Make sure that the bread that you will use, it's a bit hard, because this recipe has the olive oil in there, and the bread will absorb all that goodness. You can add dill, parsley, whatever you like. Today, I'm going to uh, add 
my organic, fresh, green pea shoots. Isn't this beautiful? One more thing, lemon zest. That will give a kick, as my chef Dara says. That's enough. <laughs> I love olive oil. When I was a kid and I was in my village, like five years old, four or five years old, and uh, once a year we harvest the olives to make the olive oil, and we were going to the Eleo Trivio, the olive oil press. The first thing that I was doing, I had a small piece of bread in my pocket, and I was, because I was the smallest kid over there, and I was going in front of everyone else, and with the first drops of the olive oil that were coming down, I put my bread in front of it there, and I was harvesting the first drops of the olive oil, and I was eating it. I was in heaven. And this dish, actually, it reminds me of that, because this bread, that the hard bread, absorbs the olive oil, and that's exactly, it takes me over there. When I was four years old, taking the olive oil in front of everybody. <laughs> Let me show you another one. Here I have maruli, romaine lettuce, and you can add it in the middle. And it's beautiful also, right? Lemon zest. This dish, it's perfect for the people that they are gluten-free. And also, you can use the lettuce, the maruli, as pita chips. But let me try my open sandwich. I like this. And I love the bread. Let me try it. See the bread? It's like all the olive oil. That's why I love this bread. And the tuna. Yasu. I love eating fresh seafood, but this texture of the tuna fish is amazing. Try to make it at home because you will make something that it belongs to the Mediterranean diet. And Mediterranean diet, it's not only, of course, the good food, it's a way of living. And that's what we are all about here at The Life of Loy. Thank you for joining me here today. Next week, I will take you to another place in Naxos. And back in New York, we will make patates lemonates potatoes with lemon and olive oil, and tagemistatis tebelas, the lazy chef's stuffed vegetable. Thank you again. I'll see you next week. Yasu! Yeah,